Welcome back aspirants. Today we are going to understand and explore the consequences of state division. Now for better understanding, I have divided the topic into different subparts. I request you all to go through the index and also subscribe to the channel and watch the other videos so that you are well prepared for your SSB interview. Now why do states divide? State division is a complex issue with no easy answers. It can be caused by a variety of factors including political, economical, social and cultural differences between regions or groups within a state. In some cases, state division may be driven by a desire for greater autonomy or self-determination, particularly among minority groups who feel marginalized or oppressed within a larger state. Other times, it may be a result of historical grievances or conflicts that may have yet to be resolved. Whatever the cause, state division often has far-reaching consequences for both the state and international community as a whole. Now, Historical Examples of State Division One of the famous examples of state division in history is the partition of India and Pakistan in 1947. This division was a result of religious tensions between Hindus and Muslims which had been shimmering for decades. The British colonial government decided to divide the country into two separate states with India being predominantly Hindu and Pakistan being predominantly Muslim. The partition resulted in widespread violence and the displacement of millions of people. Another example of state division is the breakup of Yugoslavia in 1990s. The division was a result of ethnic tensions between different communities and groups of the country. Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Macedonia all declared independence leading to a series of conflicts also known as the Yugoslav Wars. These wars resulted in the deaths of thousands of people and displacement of millions. Now, Political Implications of State Division State division often leads to political instability as the newly formed governments struggle to establish legitimacy and gain recognition from other nations. This can result in civil unrest, violence and even war. In addition, the division of a state can lead to creation of new borders and the displacement of people who find themselves on the wrong side of those borders. This can cause issues with citizenship, voting rights and access to resources and services. Now the economic impact of state division. State division can have significant impact on the economies of divided states. When a state is divided, it can lead to creation of new markets and industries, but can also be the result of laws established between businesses and industries. Division can also lead to changes in trade patterns and economic relationship with neighboring states and countries. In some cases, the division states may be different economic policies and regulations, which can create obstacles for businesses that operate in both the states. Now, Challenges of State Division One of the biggest challenges that comes with state division is border disputes. When a state is divided, it can be difficult to determine where the new borders should be drawn. This can lead to conflict between the newly formed states and after their neighbors, well as disputes over resources and territory. Another challenge is citizenship issues. When a state is divided, it can be unclear who is a citizen of which state. This can create problems for people who may suddenly find themselves without a country or unable to access basic services like healthcare or education. National identity crises are also common after state division. When a region breaks away from a larger state, this can be a sense of loss or confusion about which should be a citizen of the new state. This can lead to social unrest and political instability. Alternative to state division Federalism is a system of government in which power is divided between a central authority and constituent political units. This allows for a greater regional autonomy while still maintaining a unified national identity. Devolution is the transfer of power from a central government to local or regional authorities. 
This can help address issues of regional inequality and allow for a more responsive governance at the local level. Now in conclusion, we have discussed the various reasons why state divide, including political, economical and cultural factors. We have explored historical examples of state division such as the breakup of Yugoslavia and the partition of India. We have also examined the challenges that come with state division such as border dispute and citizenship issues. Finally, we have presented alternate solutions to state division such as federalism and regional autonomy. While state division can be difficult and contentious process, it is sometimes necessary for the greater good of citizens involved. It is important for leaders to approach the issue with sensitivity and care taking into account the unique circumstances of each situation. Lastly, thank you for watching and if you learned something new, like the videos and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss relevant updates. Also, check out our other videos and feel free to comment down any suggestions on how we can improve our content.